Here is the test question on polygons. In pentagon PQRST, measure of angle P equals to 60 degrees, measure of angle Q is 130 degrees, angle S and T are each three times as large as angle R. Which pair of sides in the pentagon PQRST will be parallel? So you can pause the video and find parallel sides. Four options are given to you. Now how do we solve such a question? The idea here is to find the angles, interior angles for the given polygon, right? Once we find that, it should be simpler for us to find out which two sides are parallel. Now first thing is, it is pentagon means n equals to 5. Now, if n is 5, s, the sum of angles will be 180 degrees times 5 minus 2, which is 180 degrees times 3. Now, that is sum of all the sides, right? So, which is, when you multiply, you get 540 degrees. Now, what are we given? We are given that angle P is equal to 60 degrees. Measurement of angle Q is 130 degrees, right? So these two, that means uh, uh, angle P plus angle Q is equal to 190, right? So we just add this up, 190 degrees. So that means we are remaining with angle S plus angle T plus angle R that should be equal to the difference of these two, which is 540 minus 190, correct? Now, how much is that? So that is from 14 to get 5 and 350 degrees, correct? So that is sum of all these angles. We are also given that Angle S and T are each three times as large as R. That means angle S equals to three times angle R and angle T is also three times angle R. So if I replace that, I get three times angle R plus three times angle R plus angle R is equal to 350 degrees. So that clearly is 7 times angle R is 350 degrees. That gives us angle R as equals to 50 degrees. 350 divided by 7. Now if angle R is 50 degrees, then what are the other angles? So clearly if angle R is 50, that means angle S is equal to angle T and both are equal to 3 times angle 50, I mean 50 degrees, which is 150 degrees, right? So we just multiply 3 times measure of angle T, which is 150 degrees, right? So we get angles as, so angles for, angles for, let's say P, Q, R, S, and T are what? So we get this as 60 degrees, right? This is 60 degrees. Q is 130 degrees. Angle R is 50 degrees. And S and T are 150 each. So what you notice here is that this sum is 180. Right? This sum is 180. The angle Q and R sum is 180. So this sum is 180. That means the sides which this connects are parallel. Do you understand? So that really means that the polygon is kind of like this. Let's say this is P for us. Then Q, right? And since this R makes it 180, it has to be parallel to this side. Fifty and hundred and thirty. 
it forms kind of a seed. You see that? They add to 180 degrees. Therefore, these two lines should be parallel. Right? So we are saying this is P, this is Q, this is R. Then the other point is S. And that gives us PQ as parallel to RS. So PQ parallel to RS is the right option. Does it make sense to you? PQ parallel to RS is the right option. Correct? Now, T could be any other point. So that makes 150 degrees with both, right? So it could be kind of like this. Let's just complete this. So that is how we can actually find which two sides are parallel. So we are looking for sum of angles to be linear pair, right? So basically we are looking for sum of adjacent angles. equals to 180 degrees. So that makes the two sides parallel. So I hope that concept is well taken care of. This is a very important question. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And I hope you understand the concept. Thanks for watching and all the best.